Hey guys, it's Jim Nix. How you doing? Hope you're having a good day. And uh, today I'm working on this uh, photo here in Luminar, and I'm talking about using textures and doing some different sort of things with textures. And, and this isn't exactly like a huge revelation. Uh, it's just something I haven't really done historically, so I thought I'd share it. Um, generally speaking, in the past, I didn't use a lot of textures. I'd you know I'd get a photo like this. Let's just close the layers palette, and I'd probably come in here and, and grab a few filters, maybe color temp. Uh, maybe some uh, polarizing to work on that um, sky a little bit, maybe some saturation, vibrance, maybe some tone. And I'd come in here and I'd say, you know, the photo's kind of boring, so maybe I want to make it a little better looking, and so I might do something like this. And, and I'm just kind of going sort of fast here. Um, I might do something like that and say, you know, hey, that's a better looking photo. Uh, and if you look at it compared to how it was, you know, it was... Uh, pretty overcast day, pretty washed out. I'd probably in the past do something like that and say, hey, you know, it looks better. It's it's better. Um, but I don't think it's great. It's not particularly interesting, and I'm not, like, super excited about it. Um, so, you know, the other thing I might have done, and maybe you saw this in one of my previous videos, uh, you could take a daytime photo and convert it to night. I'm not going to do that here. You can see that video if you want. Uh, you can check it out. But, um, you know, I started... Uh, doing more experimentation with textures and I've gotten to really uh, enjoy them especially on photos like this where you might have a photo where you say you know hey uh, it, it's a decent photo I like the I like the look of the photo the composition I'm a fan of Paris and the Eiffel Tower even though it's overshot uh, it's still interesting um, but the photo I just edited or the way I just edited uh, that photo is not a revelation it's not anything really cool or interesting necessarily it's just a shot of the Eiffel Tower with a little bit better colors in it, right? So in the past, I often would come in here and say, well, maybe I'll add a texture. So I'd go add a new image layer. I get this texture here. Uh, I love this texture, by the way. It's something I found for free on the internet. It's just a burnt looking piece of paper, which I think looks really cool. At 100%, of course, which is how a texture comes into a photo on Luminar. You can't see anything. So I'd, I'd take it down like that. And then I might say, well, maybe I want to change the contrast or whatever. And you'd get in here and add a couple of filters, and then I'd be done. So that works too, but uh, that's not what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about today is really just experimenting with using presets and textures to really get a unique and sort of interesting look. And so that's what I'm uh, going to do. The first thing I'm going to do is go add a texture. So um, I'm in my movable feast category of presets. So it's a little bit of a shameless plug. Um, and you don't have to use them, of course. If you don't have them, that's cool. And if you do have them, that's great. I appreciate it. Um, but I really like the look of this uh, Latin Quarter preset on this photo. And again, we're going to add a texture, so some of this look is going to go away. I'm going to take that down a little bit, maybe something like that. Uh, and, and I think that's cool. Now I'm going to go add the texture now uh, on the second layer, basically, not on the base layer. Uh, but I'm going to take the, uh, the opacity of that down pretty low, something like 25%. Um, and I just think that looks better, right? So there's the before with the preset. Although I think that preset, let me go back. That preset by itself definitely, to me, at least to my eye, let me show you the before and after. It made the photo a bit more interesting looking. Uh, but now with the with the preset and the texture, I, I think we're getting somewhere. Uh, and here's something, if you didn't know, you can do this with texture layers and with any layer. And that is grab the brush. And if you want to, you can either paint it in or... Uh, erase it. I'm actually going to erase the texture slightly from uh, this part of, <clears throat> excuse me, this part of the photo. Just because I like that part of the photo and I like sort of what you can see and I kind of overshot a little bit so I'm going to paint that back in right in there. Let me show you the mask. Right, I'm at 50% opacity so I haven't totally, whoops, I'm back to painting. Let me go back to erasing. I haven't totally erased it from here because I'm at 50% opacity. I just like to move it around a little bit, maybe repaint it up here, just because I don't want to uh, get too much of that sky, the sky exposed. Anyway, so there you go. That's what I, uh, I would do. And then the other thing I would do, I'd go add another layer and go add another, I'm gonna get hand mode there, go add another preset. So if I can open the preset menu, I like this one here. I think that looks pretty good on this photo because of the color scheme. It, it, uh, it softens it up a little bit, makes it a little bit more uh, kind of that blue sort of category, which I like a lot, but I think the, I take the opacity down. And there you go. Let me show you where we were. There's the before. 
with the first preset and the texture, and there's the after with an additional preset on top of the, uh, the textured layer. I think that looks way better than where we started, and I think it looks way better than just the base layer with the texture or the base layer with a single preset and then a texture. So this is basically a preset, a texture, and then another preset. Now from here, of course, if you wanted to experiment with uh, you know, blend modes, you can do that. These might look good, I don't really know. Um, we'll find out here as I click through them. That looks not a whole lot different. Uh, hard light's probably gonna be a little heavy, yeah. I think I like normal best, but just keep that in mind. Uh, you can do that on any layer in a, in a, you know, by experimenting with, uh, with blend modes, but normally on textures is when I tend to do that. But anyway, that's a, that's a quick video. Again, one more time, the before uh, and the after. To me, that's a much more interesting and sort of original look at the Eiffel Tower. You know, I don't know how many people have stood on that bridge. Uh, I can't remember the name of it. Burr Al Haram or, or something. Anyway, you can find it. It's the Inception Bridge. If you saw the movie Inception, it's the uh, it's the Inception Bridge. I don't know what else to call it besides that. Uh, if you look up Inception Bridge Paris, you'll find it. Anyway, that's the uh, bridge I was standing on. I shot the bridge some, and then I wanted to shoot the Eiffel Tower from there. But way better, interesting. You know, way better. Uh, level of interest, way more interesting to me, way better colors. I just think it's cool looking. So that's what I would do. So that's a, a, a quick tip, if you will, about combining presets um, with, uh, with textures on multiple layers and multiple times on a photo in Luminar to get a much more interesting and artistic effect. I hope it gives you some ideas. If not, thanks for watching anyway. Let me know if you have any questions, and I'll see you next time, friends. Adios.